its own promotional video build it as part of a season of edgy plays. Homegrown, which explores the motivation of British Muslims who join Islamic State, was promoted in a National Youth Theatre trailer. For us, it's, it's a world that's somewhere in between things. I think it's always really exciting to uh, see theatre go outside its comfort zone and go to new audiences in new parts of town. But now it's been dropped, sparking a row between the theatre and the play's directors. Channel 4 News has spoken to Nadia Latif in her first broadcast interview since the production's cancellation. We've also seen an email that shows the police met with the National Youth Theatre. She claims the theatre became nervous about the controversial subject and pulled the plug. There are a lot of pressures when you make any piece. I think particularly making a piece in the current political climate. Uh, and I think that uh, as a company, uh, they capitulated. The topic of radicalisation amongst Muslim youth has been dominating the headlines. This play sought to explore some of the potential conversations on extremism being held by young people. However, there are sensitivities around discussing these issues in East London. Earlier this year, three schoolgirls left Bethnal Green in East London and travelled to Syria to live under Islamic State rule. Homegrown was meant to be performed in a school near their homes. Following an intervention from Tower Hamlets Council, it was moved. A new venue was found in North London, but then the play was axed. The National Youth Theatre insists the project was shut down because of concerns over its quality, not because of the subject matter. But there's a third party in this confusing tale, and that's the police. Nadia believes a meeting between the police and the National Youth Theatre was partly what led it to cancel her play. We were told, in fact, that this meeting had happened uh, between the producer and stage management and uh, the police force, and they asked us to submit the script uh, because the police wanted to take a read of it, they wanted to attend the first three shows, and they were suggesting measures that included uh, having plainclothes police people circulating in the audience and sweeping with the bomb squad. Earlier this month, on two occasions, we spoke to the police to ask about their involvement in Homegrown. Both times, they insisted they had none. But an email sent to Nadia Latif in July showed that a meeting had taken place before the play was cancelled. When we contacted the police again, they said... We had no record of an official meeting between the police and the venue or writers of the play. We've been contacted by a police constable who was and still is on annual leave who confirms he met with the producer. Suggestions that the Metropolitan Police has had any role in the decision to cancel or relocate this play are plain wrong. The National Youth Theatre also insists police interest had no bearing on their decision to cancel the play. They were kind of, I don't know, whipped into fear, you know, by why do, can, you know, why do the councils feel they should get involved? Why do the police feel they should get involved? You know, what will parents think? What will the media think? How are we going to cope with that many kind of press requests? All of that, I think, gets people into a place where they're scared, you know, and I, I think that's really tragic, actually. The reasons behind the closure still remain unclear. However, Nadia hopes that they will find a new backer and audiences will be able to judge the play for themselves. <laughs>